Our next guest started life as a pub landlady, but gave up pulling pints 15 years ago to start running comedy clubs and begin a new career as a stand-up comedian, taking her one-woman show from Glasgow to New Zealand via Holland and the States, and she's here to tell us about her next adventure. Welcome to the show. Jenny Gordley. Jenny, thank you for joining oh, us. Thank you for having me on. So it's absolutely intriguing. I mean, I'm sure a lot of pub landladies think they're funny, but mm. how do you go from pulling pints to becoming a successful stand-up? Well, I had a pub in the Calton for 15 years. That's the East End, uh, not Calton, Edinburgh. And um, it's the kind of place where we men came in and they had scars on their face and they would say, give me a drink. I'm, like, I'm sorry, I can't serve you, you're drunk. They're like, do you want a sore face? I'm like, why are you giving that one away? So I realised that I could be quite funny. Yeah, and, and if uh, you can make these guys laugh. Yes, if you can make folk in the Carlton laugh, then you, you actually could be Prime Minister. So yeah. I've done it, and I had a good fun. And I just wanted to do something different, and I didn't want to be one of those old landladies that ended up wearing applique with a cat called Tammy that was my friend. <laughs> so when so was the first time you stood up and people actually paid? <laughs> to be in front of you and for you to make them laugh? Um, I suppose my first paid gig was for Billy Bonkers at the State Bar and it was absolutely horrifying because I have got good crowd control because I used to be a publican but you know that thing Steve and I went everybody shut up and they all shut up and I thought I don't know what to say now I've convinced myself <laughs> I can do this so I, I went into comedy and I started doing open spots and then I started doing more gigs and then I thought the, reason, the real reason I went into comedy was I wanted to be an actor and back in the day you had to get an equity card so you had to do cabaret so I thought I'll do comedy I get my equity card and then I realised I'm actually okay at this you're not, I like this you're not just okay you're filling yeah. up theatres oh, all over the place and this one you're going to the Edinburgh Fringe mm -hmm. you've done it before I know mm -hmm. but tell me is it nerve wracking you've got to fill up shows just about every night in August mm -hmm. do you think how are yeah. they going to do it are they going to think I'm funny <laughs> She's frightening me. <laughs> now, it'll be good. Um, I've got a, 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 the Pleasant Dome is a 170 seater, and I did it last year and I sold out. And it is a bit difficult because we've got the credit crunch, we've got swine flu, we've got rain, um, and we've got Edinburgh. So, uh, it just people like comedy, and folk know who I am, and I've got a wee bit of a following. People go, "It's Janie. She just gets up and talks. She's not really a comedian. She's just an over-friendly cleaner that talks too much." <laughs> so we just get her on and go. It was quite good, wasn't she? But this this stuff's all new. I think yeah. you've tried out a few of the jokes yeah. and a few material in um, New Zealand. Yeah, I had tried out some in New Zealand, and then I went to Venice Beach in Los Angeles, and there was loads of homeless people there, and I had great fun with them. I've realised that although I went to Los Angeles and met the highfalutin big business people and talking about writing for telly, I had great fun with the folk down in you know in Venice Beach that bite themselves and go, Jenny, tell us another joke. I love them. They're my kind of people. So this this show is basically about yes. your travels, the people yes. you met. What yeah, you saw. absolutely. Um, I had great fun in New Zealand. I did the comedy festival there. So there's tales about that. There's tales going back to my time in New York. There's tales about Los Angeles. Um, there's kind of rather poignant tale about I was on a train and, a, a, and the, a death happened. I don't want to spoil it. It's a bit like murder on the Orient Express, but there's no murder and I wasn't involved. A death happened. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. That's I don't want to spoil <laughs> the death for you. It's cracking. <laughs> well, we'll look forward to it. Uh, and your family are all involved. You're doing it a wee yeah. bit differently. You've got rid of the agent, you're designing your own mm. posters. What made you go that route? Well, I always kind of been self-sufficient. I'm Scottish, so if we can find soup, we'll make soup. That's who we are. And um, I've no idea why I brought soup in. I don't even cook. That's such a big <laughs> lie. Um, my daughter's doing the, the... The thing is, when you do the Edinburgh Festival, it's costing me about 10 grand to take a show, 10,000 pounds. Mm. So normally you have to pay 2,000 pounds to a PR girl who's just called Sophie with an interchangeable head. And then you have to pay loads of money to lots of different people. So I decided, you know what? I'm for Glasgow. I'll design the poster. I practically took the picture myself, but I didn't. My daughter will do the PR. We'll use um, Scottish flyers, get the flat from a Scottish um, estate agent, do everything in-house. This is the year of homecoming. It's all about Scotland. I'm a Scot in Scotland, and you should support the Scottish at the comedy festival, and I'm trying hard to make... Hey, good for you. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. I'm yeah. just a wee bit worried. If you don't cook three weeks in Edinburgh in a rented flat, what are you going to do? Stephen, you know fine well we live on caramel <laughs> shortbread and milk. <laughs> That's what you... You don't eat a whole meal until you come home from Edinburgh and go, why have I got spots and my hair's fell out? <laughs> lived on crisps. 
for Peanuts, three weeks. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, yeah. Well, I'm not a big drinker, so I, two two shandies, and I'm like going to turn that DJ down, son. <laughs> son, oh. could you put the music <laughs> down? Are you looking forward yeah. to seeing Edinburgh this year? I mean, we're taking the show through there for a few days. Who should we be news? absolutely looking uh, looking out to see when we're through well, there? There's lots of smaller Scottish acts that don't get the press. I don't want to bang on about Scotland, but there's lots of small... And there's some great women at the festival, fabulous women, like Susan Calman, Jojo Sutherland, yeah. Tiffany Stevenson, fabulous females at the Comedy Festival, and some great Scottish boy acts. We've got wee Kevin Bridges, who's just a star in the making. Um, I like theatre at the festival, I have to say. I, I don't go and see a lot of comedy, so I'm looking forward to some of the big theatre productions. Fantastic. So. And Susan, like yourself, she had a career, she was a lawyer, yeah. and then she came into being a funny And woman. we're small, so we're friends. Small. We're, 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 we're tiny midgems. So I mean, come on, you put on the TV and you watch all these big t comedy TV shows like Mock the Week yeah. and, and Have I Got News For You, you very rarely see female comedians on these shows, do well, you? Well, that's been a rather contentious issue because they keep on saying we don't get women on it and it's very testosterone fueled yeah. and it's a gladiatorial playground and not a lot of women can do it. Well, they've never asked me and see if they do. I'll be there. I'll be up. Gladiatorial comedy sword in hand. I think you I'm would. for the East End of Glasgow. I could handle it. <laughs> they just haven't asked me yet. It's much the same as George Clooney's not asked me to marry him yet. <laughs> he will. It's he coming. will. I know. I You're just ticking boxes, aren't I you? Am, time. I? Just George Clooney and me. That's my next show. Me and George and how we get married. <gasps> I'm coming to that one. You know it's a lie. <laughs> Janie, you're at the Pleasance Dome yes. from Wednesday, two more sleeps. I know, two more sleeps and then from Wednesday right through and, and I'm really looking forward to it. Do you know, being a comedian's fabulous because I get to go on stage every night for a month and see, to be honest, I'd do this for nothing. That's how much I love it. That's great. Fantastic. That's great to hear, it. isn't it, from yep, anybody in any absolutely. profession, especially comedy.